Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek and Image Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this video I'll be showing you how to send SMS text messages directly from within your applications. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it SMS Tutorial just for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing you want to do before we start with the coding is import our message UI framework and this will enable us to send the message from our app. So by doing that we go to build phases, just drop down the link binary of libraries, click the plus symbol and if we start as type in message and our message UI framework should just pop up there, add that into our project and then once that's done we jump straight to our viewcontroller.h where we'll import it and create our button and so on and so on. So just under import here, we'll press enter, we'll do import again, message, capital UI, and the forward slash, and again, message, capital UI, dot H, make sure it's a little H, and then once you've done that, we'll just do, after the UI view controller, we do the more than and less than symbols there. And then in between them, we want to put in capitals MFM message, compose view controller delegate, right there. And then we do space, curly bracket, and then press enter. And now we'll just enter our action here for our action button. So we'll just simply type it out quickly. So dash bracket, ID action, and then the selector here, we'll give our button a name, Sim simply send SMS, and then at the end of the send now, make sure we do our semicolon, and then once we've done that, we can simply save, and then that's all the coding that's needed within the .h, so we jump straight over to our .m, and just at the bottom here, we'll make a fair bit of space so you can clearly see what we're typing out. So we'll add our button in, so we do dash bracket IB action, and we named it send SMS. Let's get rid of that extra little bit of code in there. Send um, SMS, and at the end do space, curly bracket, and press enter. I'll make it wide enough so you can clearly see what we're typing out again here. So then we start by typing MF message, compose view controller. There we go. And then we do space, asterisk, and we'll give it a quick name, text composer. Make sure I just spell it right there. Sorry. And then we do space equals space and do bracket bracket MF message compose view controller again. And then we do space alloc. And after the first um, bracket there, we do space and then init. And then at the end of that bracket there, we do a semicolon and then press enter for our new line. And then we do bracket text composer set message compose delegate. And in the highlighted section here, we do self and then that of a bracket and a semicolon. Right, and I'll do two enters now so we can space out now this if, um, if statement. So we do if, and in the condition here, we do bracket MF message compose view controller again. Space, so if it can send, send text, sorry, so it can send text in that array bracket. So basically, if, the, if it can, if it's able to send the text as in, um, the device allows text messaging, such as the simulator will not, but your iPhone will allow it to send. So in there we do the statement here, bracket, text composer, space, set, recipients, in here. And then we do, in the NS array, we do bracket, NS array, space, array, with um, objects just here and in the ID here we do nil or you can simply get rid of the yes yeah, so it's completely nil there 
and that with two brackets and then press semicolon. So this will just simply set it so there's no receptance at all. So you label once it loads up, you can click the little plus symbol and it'll go through your contact list and you can select one yourself. Or well, unless you want you know, one preset, you just edit the um, highlight section there within the nil. So we do enter, and then we do bracket, text composer, again, and then we do space, and then we set body. Now this is simply the message here, so we can do at quotation mark, quotation mark, I'll just quickly finish this line here, a bracket and a semicolon. Now you can either leave it blank, um, blank in between the two quotation marks, this will mean when the message loads up there will be nothing displayed within the message, or you can already preset the message, so for this tutorial I'll just simply preset it, so I'll simply put hello. So when we um, load up our message here in your um, device, I will be unable to show you this in the simulator, I'll just give you a quick heads up, so if you simply um, typed in hello or anything you like there, and when you build it on your device, you'll notice hello pops up in um, where you would simply you know, enter your text if you were sending the message. So after that line there, we can press enter, and then we do bracket self space, and then we do present view controller, which is just here at the bottom, and in the UI view controller highlighted section here, we enter our text composer for our for the view to load up, obviously of our text messaging. So text composer, and then animated, we want yes, in all the capitals. And in the completion here, we want simply null in that of a bracket and a semicolon. Now, just press enter here, or sorry, don't press enter, just after the um, curly bracket there. So that's simply, in the if statement here, we got, if it can send, it will all load up and our message body and receptance will all load up for our text message. Now, if we're unable to load it up, such as the simulator, we simply put else, space, curly bracket and press enter. Now the code in here will simply um, be for when you're unable to uh, load up the text message like I said before. So we're just going to simply put here ns log. This means for when I show you in the simulator this will um, display a message within our console just to show you that you know it's unable to load up in the simulator but it's telling me in the console in Xcode that it's unable to load. I'll explain more just to go in more, a bit more detail when it loads up in the simulator. So, can't open text. And at the end of that bracket there, we just do a simply semicolon. So then, I'll just clean up this bit of code here, so space it all off. The code is done there, but now we need to um, be able to dismiss the um, text message either if we cancel or if we send it. And to do that, we do dash bracket void. And then we do message compose view controller here. And then once you've done that, we do space bracket enter. And then we do you have to um, dismiss the view controller. So you do self or well, bracket self, sorry, space dismiss um, view controller animated. And we want yes. And in the completion, no. And then a bracket and a semicolon. I'll just um, put that line on the. Um, sorry, I'll just put this line, enter it down so you can clearly see it there and type it out. So if you just want to pause the video and catch up on where we've got now, but straight away I'm going to jump straight into the view control that XIB. And I'm going to quickly add in our round rec button. I'll rename it, send SMS. I'll just make sure it's centered so it's nice and pretty for the simulator. And once we've done that, we go to Files Owner, and then we're going to link up our action for our button. Make sure it's touch down or touch up inside, whatever is um, easiest for you. And then we go to Build and Run in this simulator, and we just wait for it to load up in there. Now, once it's loaded, I um, like I said before, the um, iOS simulator is unable to send text messages. But if you built one to your device and did it, the message will pop up. Just like you're sending a regular message to um, someone on your phone, but you won't have to leave your application. So once you press it here, 
it pops up. Um, text messaging is not available. And we can press OK to dismiss it, just like I said. But if you notice at the bottom here in our um, console here, in our NS log, where we simply put in our .m here, NS log, NS log, sorry, um, can't open text. It just simply displays down here, can't open text, just to show you that, you know, if it can't load, it can do something else. So anyway, I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and most importantly, make sure you favourite and like the video as this really does help us um, gain more views and reach a wider audience. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and if you want to suggest any tutorials or any videos yourself, just simply send us a message or leave us a comment on here, Facebook or Twitter. But most importantly, make sure you um, subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.